This is Apostle Fred Namuka. I'm going to share with you a song that I beg you to lift up your hands as we share together. But the title says, My God is wise and powerful.
praise your name. We praise you, name. name. Cause you're powerful. We exalt you, name. We exalt you, name. We exalt you, name. Because you are powerful. That's why I call him to be fine and powerful. Whoever is listening to this watch, just have faith and hope, knowing that God is going to overload all your burdens and gives you rest. As it is written in Matthew 11, 28 to 30, says that, Come! All of you who are heavy laden and he will give you rest. Hallelujah. Yeah.
We exalt your name. We exalt your name. We exalt your name because you are powerful. Thank you for your power, we say thank you Thank you for your mercy Thank you for your peace Lord Thank you for your preaching Thank you for everything Thank you for your wisdom Thank you for knowledge Thank you for understanding Because you are the Lord of Lord And Thank you. Thank you for my life. Thank you for my Thank you for my teaching. Thank you for my child. Lord, thank you for your healing. Thank you. Thank you for touching on everyone. Thank you, Lord. I know that this is a time. Of your Holy Spirit to come. Yes, right now, I see your Holy Spirit is touching everyone, is healing everyone. Yes, those who are blind, I see them getting healed. Those who are lame, I see them getting healed. Those who are patient, I see them getting healed. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your servants today, Lord. Thank you for gifting them, Lord. Thank you for this congregation. Thank you for this crusade. Thank you. So that you are, you are the Lord who created the heaven and earth. And we know that with the time. As you said in the mark, said in the one that heaven and earth will pass away. But your word will never pass away. Lord, that's why today we are worshiping your name. We are calling your name. We are calling your name. And forgive us, Lord. Come and remember us, Lord. You know we are not rich. I'm a sinner, Lord. Come and forgive me. Come and lift me, Lord. We have sinned before you, Lord. Come and forgive us. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Yes. Yes. For the moment of grace and deliverance. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Cause you are powerful. Thank you. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you for your hope. We say thank you for your faith. We thank you for your defense. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your way. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord. 
thank you for gifting me. Today I'm also singing. I'm also preaching. Because of your grace, I know that my God, you are merciful, you are faithful, and trust you. As you said in Romans 10, verse 9, that whoever will say that Jesus is Lord and believe in his heart and say that God raised him from the dead, he will be saved. That's why, Lord. Right now I say that I'm worried the same because I'm calling on your name. And again, you say in Romans chapter 9 from verse 1, the film says, God and his people. I know that I'm speaking the truth because I belong to Christ and I don't lie. My conscience led by the Holy Spirit assures me that I'm not lying. Right now, I tell you that try to trust God. I encourage you not to be worried. Don't lose hope. No condition is permanent in life. As the scriptures says in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 from verse 1, the film says that there is time for everything. There is time to be born and time die. That means that everything has its own time. So for me, I want to encourage those who are open right now, who are mourning right now, I say that be patient, be strong, be brave. God is going to give you a way where there is no way. And remember, continue worshiping Him with faith and hope, knowing that He's the one going to give you peace, unity, and love, deliverance when you trust Him. I know that in Him, everything is possible. Hallelujah. My God is the one. My God is the one. My God is the one. And is powerful. My God is the one. 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 marriage problem, I say that, trust him. Those who are fighting right now, I encourage you that you don't fight. As the scriptures say in Exodus 14, 14, that there is no need for you to do anything, but the Lord will fight for you. Trust him. Trust him. Trust him. Hallelujah. Those who are doing business also trust him. Students seeking for wisdom trust him. If you are the one seeking for wisdom, you learn but you don't understand. Trust him. As the scriptures say in the Proverbs 1 7 or Proverbs 9 10, that the fear of the Lord is 
the beginning of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Remember that when you believe in Him, you will see His mercy upon you. If you are the one, you are barren, they are laughing at you, that this world doesn't produce, I beg you to trust Him. Everything will be possible. Trust Him right now and believe in your heart that whatever you are asking Him is going to answer you right now. Just have faith. My God. to get this song from it is in Daniel chapter 2 verse 20 to 23 it said that God is wise and powerful hallelujah my God Remember, he's the one who controls time, controls time, and one more time. Lift up your hands as we sing together. Thanks for 
you're listening to Apostle Fred in Amoka. I say that may God bless you all. Whoever is listening, whoever is worshiping right now with us, I say that may God touch on you. May His Son come and protect you. May His Holy Spirit come and go with you. Hallelujah. Just say that, Lord, right now, we are mourning. But we say, as you raised Jesus Christ, come and go with them. As we say, Lord, I need your time everywhere. Where I'm going. In the future, it is you who knows, because you are the way the true and the life. As you say in John 14, from verse 1, that do not let your heart be troubled, but trust in God and also in Jesus Christ. Why is it in Jesus? You just go down to verse 6, Jesus told him that I am the way, the truth, and the life. Whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. My God my God. There is no way. That's why I tell you that let us praise Him forever and ever. He controls the time and the seasons. He makes and unmakes kings. It is He who gives wisdom and understanding. He refuses things that are deep. Sacred. He knows what is hidden in darkness, and him himself is surrounded by light. I praise him, I praise him, God of my ancestors. You have given me wisdom and strength. You have answered my prayer and shown us what to tell the king. Members, whoever is listening to this song, remember that on this earth, all of us we are visitors. But God is calling you, passing through this person. He wants you to turn to Him. Members, we know we are not traitors before Him. All of us in this world we are sinners. But this is the time for us to repent and come back to God. That's why I want to tell you, don't be worried of anything. Maybe you have problems, maybe you have your patient, maybe you are the one sick, don't be worried. You may be outside there, in the labor pain, suffering. You're about to give birth, but things are not going on well. I want to tell you that in Him, all things are possible. More details find them in Mark 9:23, Luke 1:37, or Matthew 19:26, etc. With God, everything.